Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a PS4 controller with PS4 Windows on your Windows 11 10 computer. So let's just go to google.com and type in PS4 Windows and go to the first link, ds4-windows.com and then go to download in the top right and click this. Now wait for uh, this to load and then go on over to download. Click this. And then when this pops up, let's save this to a location just in our downloads folder. All right, go to the top right now, click this and open it up. So if you don't see it, go to your file explorer and go to your downloads folder. So let's go to downloads and then open this up. So you can see I have these files here I need to extract. Just right click on it. And then uh, we got like breezip. I got that on here. I can extract files right here. So you're going to want to extract these before um, you actually click in here. Otherwise, you can click in here like this and just go to DS4 Windows application and double click this and it'll give you the option to unzip it. So let's go to extract all. And I'm just going to do the same folder where it's located. So right here, my downloads, go to extract. And it should open up now in File Explorer, uh, a different window. Let's go down here. And then go to the blue icon, PS4 Windows application. Double click this. And then go to Program Folder. And select the devices you want to support. So you got the DualSense and the DualShock 4 right here. Then go to Close. And this should open up. Now you might get a, a little window right next to it. And you're going to have to install something like VGEM EMU driver. Make sure you install that first. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to detect your controller on your PS uh, on your PC. So there's going to be this little window right here uh, with the controller on it. Go to install VIG, Emu, whatever, and then your controller will be detected. Very important. And then uh, let's go to uh, C920, my webcam here. You can see my PS4 controller. Uh, you can connect this via wireless Bluetooth to your PC, or I'm just going to use this little cable. Since my battery is a little bit low, I'm just going to connect it. And then it should just detect it. You saw it before, before I disconnected it. And uh, if you see this blinking like that, uh, like orange, that means it's charging. If it's blue, you're ready to connect. All right, let's go back over to my screen. And you can see it's connected right here. Status via USB. And then uh, what we could do is just go on over to a profile and make a new profile. Go to yes and then choose uh, the uh, output controller for the DualShock 4 and go to apply. And then you can customize all these different buttons in here. I uh, get dead zone, anti dead zone, sensitivity, anti snapback, anti snapback timing. Uh, yeah, you just got a lot of stuff you can get into here. Uh, sensitivity, light bar, color. Let's see if this actually works. I think, uh, do we have to? Color uh, by battery percentage. I don't know. I'll have to look into this more. You got the gyro if you want to use the gyro on here. And then you got other. So just save the profile. Let's go to PS4 controller and save it. And then we can come back to this at any point in time. Uh, just make sure you go to where it says start in the bottom right. So you can see it says stop for me. And then that'll apply your profile. And then you should be good to go. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.